Hello, today I'm going to talk about the upper confidence bound algorithm, the UCB algorithm. And this algorithm is a reinforcement learning algorithm. It's the first reinforcement learning algorithm that we are going to talk about. And we are also going to talk about in the next video about the Thompson sampling algorithm, which is also a reinforcement learning algorithm. In this case, we are going to use this algorithm to solve the multi-armed bandit problem which we talked about in the previous video. So, just in a nutshell, we are going to try to explore and exploit at the same time so that we can find the machine that is the best machine that has the best distribution. And we are going to do that in the least amount of time possible. If you want a better discussion about this, just check the previous video about the multi-armed bandit problem. So, these are the distributions for the machines. And we can see that this machine is the best machine because it has the highest mode mean and and mode mean and medium, okay. And these are not as good. This as this is not as good as this one, for example. So the algorithm is going to try to find this this machine. At the same time that it explores, it's going to try to exploit the best machine, which is this machine. Okay, this is the algorithm. We are going to actually implement it in Python and in R, so we are going to actually implement it, not use a library. We are going to actually code this. It's not complicated, but I'm going to talk more about this when we get to the algorithm. Yes, here we are going to go through only the intuition about the UCB uh, algorithm, which is better than look and looking at this thing. And we're going to go through that when we code it. Okay, so how does this work? So again, these slides are from the course that I'm taking from Udemy, machine learning course. And I didn't use all these slides, so there, we, there will be some cuts during these slides, some jumps. Okay. So the f what is happening here? So these are the machines. We have five machines. And these are the machines. And we start by supposing that all of them have the same distribution here. So this is the re represented by these red, red stripes here. We are going to call them these red, these red lines, the observed average. And we know that. So no. Uh, before that, these are the actual distributions. So these we don't know. So this is what where the algorithm is supposed to go to. So this is where these lines are supposed to go to. So this represents this uh, distribution, and this represents this distribution, and so on. So this is the best di distribution, and this is the best distribution. Okay, so we don't know these color lines and we have these boxes. By the way, these boxes are the the confidences, the confidence of the it's the interval confidence of the interval. And this is the observed average, and this is the expected value of that distribution that we are going to to try to reach to yeah to reach by using I don't know the name of the law, but it's the law of great numbers, great sampling. I don't know, which says that with enough samples we tend towards the we converge towards the actual value of the distribution right okay so this is the beginning so we are going to randomly select one of these machines to go through the first iterations so let's say that we selected this one here so now we are going to to pull the leverage is it leverage? I don't know if that's the word in English. We're going to p push the... <laughs> it's not leverage, it's lever. So we're going to, pu 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 to push or to pull. We're going to pull the lever of the machine. And the machine is either... We are going to either succeed to win or we can lose. And in this case, we lost. So our observed mean came down and our interval decreased so it also 
like um, decreased size of it, and that that's based on the statistics. You, yeah, you know, when you the more you try, the more the the narrower narrower is your confidence interval. So yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, meaning that, you know, when you try more times, uh, when you repeat, when you have more samples, you can be more confident that the, the value that your samples are going to is the actual value of that distribution, right? And you can be more and more confident the more you try, the more samples you have. So this is what hap is happening here. We pull the leverage and we uh, we lost therefore this observed average here came down so it it was here and then it came down here and also the interval decreased because now we are more certain that we are going towards the real average or the real value of the distribution which is this value here okay then we are going to repeat this process for all the other machines kind of randomly it's actually not kind of randomly we are going to select the machine that has the lowest the, sorry the highest upper bound in this case this machine is not going to be selected anymore because its upper bound has decreased a lot and we are going to randomly select across these other machines now because they are, all have the same upper bound okay so we are going to do that. Let's see the next slide. Okay, so this next slide uh, already gone through most of the machines uh, except this one. So in this case, the first machine that we tried was this one and we decreased. Then ignore this error for now and ignore this distributions. Imagine that we only have these and these like this and this like this and we only change this one. So when we pulled this lever, the average was the observed average was here, and it went up. So it went more towards the real average, and then the borders decreased. Okay, so we did that for this machine already and this machine, and now let's say that we did for this machine. So we pulled the lever, and we lost. Therefore, it goes towards the the real average. Okay. So we did for this, for this, for this. The next one is this one. So we pull the leverage. Sorry, I'm saying leverage again. I pull the, the lever, le, lever, lever. And in this case, we we win. That, that can happen. Like we we won, and the absurd average actually went up. Therefore, it, it's now further than it was before to the real average, and that can happen, but it's less likely, right? Because, you know, it tends to converge to this value, and it's going to do so, yeah. Okay, we didn't do for this machine yet, that's why we have this error here. But if we keep doing this, in this process, for all, all the machines in this case we are selecting this one because it has the up the highest upper bound if we keep doing that we'll end up with this so in this case we found the best distribution and it's going to be harder and harder to have a distribution with a higher upper bound than this one but it can happen because the more we try this machine the closer we get to the actual value and this border is going to decrease so there will be a time that this border will decrease so much that maybe this distribution is going to have a higher upper bound then this model is going the algorithm is going to try this machine again but it's going to go back to this machine quite quickly because after all the this, the the expected value for this distribution is lower than this one so the machine ends up finding the best distribution but it keeps exploring the other 
the other distributions or the other machines but less and less so it's going to explore less and less the other machines and it's going to to try more and more the best machine so it's going to exploit more and more the best machine yeah and that's why as i said in the video that i was explaining about the mode uh forgot the name of the problem mode armed bandit problem I explained that and this is better than the AB testing because in this case we are exploiting more the best machine and in AB testing you explore randomly across all the machines so we end up losing resources while doing that because you are going to spend coins randomly instead of spending coins in the machine that's going to give you the best return so yeah, this machine eventually uh, is going to exploit more the best machine and is going to try to do that in the least amount of time possible. That's a good algorithm. <laughs> I like that. And we are going to actually implement it and so we are going to see what's happening once you see the code in Python and in R. So that's it for the upper confidence bound algorithm, a reinforcement learning algorithm. Right? And we are going to talk about, we are going to code this now in Python. Okay, bye-bye.